Hello. Thank you here for you. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, we get it here to celebrate agriculture and learn more about how to create more in the most sustainable way for our planet and humanity. This will video will show you what re regenerative agriculture is and why implement the methods it proposes. COLIV uh, is the leading partner in this educational program. We are a modern food brand with a mission. We harvest rare olives from conflict zones to nurture peace. As a social business, we always want to do more and take care of our planet and humanity. That is why we're here talking about sustainable agriculture. Now I'll pass it on to our collaborating knowledge and farmer partner, Sophia from Cyprus Environment Foundation. Hi everyone, thank you Hassan for the introduction. It is a great pleasure to be here today. Um, I am the executive director of the Cyprus Environment Foundation um, and we are all about protecting and enhancing the natural ecosystems of Cyprus. One of our pillars of interest is regenerative uh, land use, which includes regenerative farming. And we are really thrilled to be here today with uh, one of the experts in this field to guide us. Uh, so um, I would like to say a few words about Francesc. Um, Francesc, uh, um, he, 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 may, he does a lot of things. Apart from managing uh, and working at Canfont, uh, regenerative organic uh, farming located in Spain, he's also a co-director uh, of AgroAssessor Consultants, um, and he's a co-founder of Organic Managers uh, and technical director of Son Felipe. Uh, and uh, Algerian farms in Menorca. Uh, he has uh, published uh, two books uh, uh, up to now, uh, one, Arelat a la Terra, Rooted in the Earth, uh, and the other one, Regenerative Agriculture, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Francesc. Uh, and his techniques incorporate a series uh, of, of methods, including holistic management, uh, permaculture, key line design, um, edible forest biodynamics, and we will learn a lot more about this uh, through this course. Um, and of course, we have uh, with us uh, Monica, uh, who is a coordinator of the training program and will be with us during the, the course. Uh, so let's start with a basic question, Francesc. What is, what do we mean when we say regenerative agriculture? Uh, and what is the difference between that and uh, conventional farming or maybe organic farming. Thank you, Sofia and Hassan. It's a really good pleasure to stay here with with you. And I, I think it's a good it's a good question and it's a big question as well. Uh, there is a different systems uh, to practice agriculture now in the in the world. Uh, one is conventional agriculture. I think uh, everybody knows what is conventional agriculture. Is the kind of agriculture that the farmers are using uh, pesticides and till the soil and etc. Another way is uh, organic agriculture, ecologic agriculture, biologic agriculture. There are different names for the same for, for the same system. And for me, this system is uh, more or less to change the chemical products for the natural products. And sometimes it's not more than, than this. And another, another point that is the system that we are practicing uh, at our, our farm and uh, different farms in Europe and Africa is regenerative agriculture. And re regenerative agriculture is not only change the inputs, not only use natural products and not use the chemical products, and uh, is uh, is uh, to change the the way to understand the agriculture and uh, is based on regenerate and restore the soils, the soils and the whole system, and but we put the main focus on the soil. And our main mission is to improve the soil fertility a step by a step. Francis, thank you for that answer. Um, to clarify for everybody listening in to us, uh, why do you see a need to adopting regenerative agriculture practices today? I think 
today uh, every day is more important to use this kind of practices because when you put the focus on the soil when you improve want to improve the soil uh, in the same way you are for example fixing carbon and carbon can be a big problem now actually is a big problem uh, now we are talking before that uh, the temperature today is crazy is crazy for these dates uh, so we need to improve it we need to fix the carbon and practice regenerative agriculture means fix the carbon and put the carbon in the soil and improve the amount of organic matter in our soils so uh, we it is a win-win relation because we fix carbon and we improve the soils in in the same moment in the same time and for me this is one of the best uh, solutions that regenerative agriculture apports on the on this planet on this moment but there are there are more uh good news uh for the people that practice regenerative agriculture because practicing regenerative agriculture we are improving the biodiversity and this is important because in the last 20 years we lost about a half the half of the biodiversity in this planet so it will be a big problem and there are more uh there are more good news uh practicing regenerative agriculture uh we we can stop the erosion and the erosion especially in the whole mediterranean area is a big problem and will be a massive problem so for, for these reasons for me it's important to start to change our mind and start to practice regenerative agriculture thank you thank you francesc well, you know, we, we see a lot of successful um, um, examples in, uh, in the US, for example, in regenerative uh, farming with institutions, uh, big institutions adopting these techniques. But is this applicable in the Mediterranean? And especially we are located in uh, semi-arid and arid regions where we don't have enough water. Can we, can we apply such, such uh, a method here? yeah yeah of, of course because the the main thing to apply regenerative agriculture is actually is not uh in the soils is not in the weather is uh is in the mind of the farmers so the first step is to change the mind of the farmers and there is not limitations on the soils actually uh sometimes it's easier to improve a soil when the situation is not the best situation uh, for this for these soils. So yes, absolutely yes, it's possible to practice this kind of agriculture in the whole planet with the with, with the whole uh, crops uh, and animals and and etc. So yeah, it's it's really possible to practice uh, in in every place that you want to practice regenerative agriculture. I mean that is that is extremely interesting, very interesting for us. So in in Kolev is a collection of farmers essentially. So I need to ask this for every farmer that is listening, um, which is their first question, obviously being interested, is how easy is it for farmers to transition into regenerative agriculture? Uh, what would it entail for them? Is 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 not difficult. First of all, it's not difficult to practice regenerative agriculture. Why? Because uh, practice regenerative agriculture is something that the farmers did for lots of years, lots, lots of years. So uh, it's, it's not difficult, difficult, but it's important to understand what is regenerative agriculture and to understand the basis of regenerative agriculture and it's important to understand how the soil works because uh, the last 20 30 40 years perhaps we we we, we forgive we, we forgot we forgot the, the 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 how the soil how the systems works and and we need to to understand again how 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 the nature how the nature works because in the, in the end in the end 
uh, apply regenerative agriculture is only to understand the nature and imitate the nature. It's not no, no more, not more, actually. That sounds really attractive as a system. Uh, but, uh, Frances, you know, it, it is sometimes it's challenging to transition or maybe the farmer will ask, why 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 do it my system is working great i have such inputs and so, so many yields so why why should i bother change my habits uh, i'm used to getting profit like this you know what's in for me actually there are lots of reasons to change the system to to work and personally i have lots of reasons to change it as a few years ago but one of these reasons, perhaps the main one, is because the money. Because the last years that I work it uh, as a farmer, as a conventional farmer, uh, growing olive tree, for example, or vineyards or cereals, uh, I lose money. I lose money because the inputs are every day more and more and more expensive. Uh, you can see today the urea, that is one of the main fertilizers that the farmers are using in the wall. Today, it costs about five times more than one year before. And this price is increasing. The price of the pesticides, the main pesticides, herbicides are increasing day to day. The price of the energy, the petrol is increasing day to day. So uh, it's it's necessary to find another way, another way to produce using less energy and uh, and not use uh, these kind of products that every day will be expensive and expensive. So for me, one of the main reasons is because of the money. I mean, I'll um, I'll take I'll take it here. Uh, Francis, can I ask you to mute? Sorry, we had a double double voice issue in my in my side, um, but it couldn't be said better uh, because money. We have more than twenty farmers now. It keeps coming up, and using money, using capital for good, I think is a uh, amazingly perfect point, and I'll talk to talk about going back to our roots as well. But um, inputting less or uh, uh, having less money to create more, I think, is an amazing proposition for every farmer that is listening to us now. Uh, our aim with this educational program is obviously to get you, uh, the the farmer that I'm talk, uh, talking to you now, from a to at least to a point that where you can uh, apply these uh, processes that Frances teach about. So my question then back to Frances, how would you break uh, our five sessions down so that the farmer will have uh, a base to, to apply on or a base that they will build upon? After these last years applying this kind of agriculture, we develop uh, a system I can imagine there are different systems in, in the in the world, but we have our own system uh, explaining that we learn for for the last years because uh, we made some mistakes, sometimes big 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 mistakes. Uh, but now I think the situation in our farm and the other farms as is under control and it 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 worked. And this system, it starts for understand what is regenerative agriculture, and and for this reason, the first the first season, uh, we will talk about what is regenerative agriculture, what is not regenerative agriculture, what is the history of the agriculture of the re regenerative agriculture, and how to can apply this. And to apply regenerative agriculture, we have actually lots of different tools. Uh, that is necessary to learn about it uh, before to practice it. And for this reason, the second season will talk about this kind of tools, tools that we can use to improve the soil, improve the biodiversity, to improve the whole system, to manage animals if it's possible, 
we are working with uh, olive tree and ducks and chicken and cows and sheep and horses and and some years ago i i thought that is not possible that to, to put cows in my olive trees but now i will share with you different image different photos different experiences and some video uh, about to use for example cows or pigs on ducks on etc in the olive tree fields so it's important it's important to learn about the basis of regenerative agriculture and it's important to learn and know the different tools that you have to apply this kind of agriculture after in the first and fourth season we will talk about uh the the uh plants management the plant management and the animals management that is complementary of course and uh in the last season we will talk about uh about uh, the economy of the system about to measure the results that you are applying about to understand uh different ways to to sell your products to explain your products and to sell your products and different different ways to make a really good uh, extra virgin olive oil because one of the things that we are really happy uh now the last year is uh that applying regenerative agriculture we have uh the different uh gold medals that we won in the different big awards in the world as london awards uh italian uh japan etc so the the message for 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 me now is it's possible to to make regenerative agriculture and to make the high high quality olive oil that is that is really good that is for me is not another option quality and regenerative agriculture so it's it's fantastic and this is my idea to share with you how uh, we are uh, making this 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 process uh, and and how so this process can be successful in our in our fields as well uh, because it is the same applying it here at home that in your fields sure we are so lucky to to have you uh teaching our farmers as well teaching whoever is watching this um we talked about soil which is i think very important that people forget that soil is a living being uh, the second that we talked about, um, using money for good, using money as an incentive for good. Uh, the third, and I think one of the one of the points that I get missed a lot is going back to our roots. Um, and very very kindly, uh, Francis wrote a book about it, rooted to our rooted to earth. Um, and being in a conflict zone or being in Cyprus and being in all these places that our farmers are watching us it is we are going back to our roots the methods that we use uh they are more planet friendly they are more humanity friendly so uh this i think was a great introduction to what we're gonna do which is the regenerative organic uh farming organic workshop there will be five sessions uh and as Colib, we we're gonna continue to do more um i have i like to mention that this program will be funded by the Embassy of Netherlands to Cyprus, Republic of Cyprus. Um, and I love, I love to leave you with this. You can find more inform information on the Colive website, which is colivol.com. That's C-O-L-I-V-E-O-I-L.com. Um, please email us at contact.colivol.com or sophia at cyprusenvironment.org to sign up for further education and more news from us. So thank you very much. Uh, if you have anything to add, Sophia or Frances, I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, we're going to say goodbye to our farmers. Uh, only, only say that uh, I'm looking for uh, to start this course. I'm looking for know more about uh, the practice that the farmers in your country are are making are uh, using to grow olive tree. And to share my my experience, and, and I'm looking for this. So thank you very much for this beautiful opportunity to share our experience in your country, in your area.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Francesc. Really looking forward to it. Hassan, this is going to be a great workshop, so please make sure to sign up uh, because this is a, a golden opportunity. And in that, in that note, I will repeat it. Uh, please go email us right after this video. There are much more amazing things to come. Um, and we're look, looking forward to, to seeing you.